Hello, everybody, here at the Joy.City booth um, with Brazzers. I am here at the AVN Show 2023. I have the lovely Maddie Collins here with me today. Hi, guys. Maddie, how you doing? I'm doing so good. It's my first AVN, and I am loving it. Fantastic. <laughs> um, tell me about, like, I don't know, your general impression. Is it bigger than you expected, smaller than you expected? It's nice with it being in a new location for the first, for my first one at least, because I kind of had no expectations. Right. But it's definitely, everybody's here. Yeah. People that overseas, everybody's here. And so it's bigger in that sense where it has more reach than I would have ever thought. Right. Yeah. But it's so cool to see everybody like coming together and collabing everything like that because where else could you do that? You know? Yeah. 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 It's kind of like a big, almost like a high school reunion type feel. Totally. Yeah. Um, so you were into the Avian Awards. Yes, first time. <laughs> Are you excited about that? I'm super excited. I have dress ready. She's, it's all laid out on a bed. I just look at it every morning and I'm like, soon. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you going to do the red carpet and everything? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. First Avian red carpet. <laughs> I will say from someone who's done many Avian red carpets, um, be prepared to wait a really long time. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, it I, is slow. <laughs> the LSM traffic is, is slow. LSM means lots of good photos. Yes. That's all that matters. Yes, absolutely. But like maybe you'll put a little like power bar in your purse or something Some like that. Or something while I wait. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've really tried to like fix that. That the last time they gave like tickets to people, like you had different colors. So like depending on your color, you go at a certain time. 100% did not help <laughs> at all. Awesome. Well, hopefully, with it being a new venue and everything, it'll be a little more. Maybe, new, yeah. Like it could be the. It's just a lot of people in the industry, you know, a lot of and people. a lot of people want their photo taken. So, oh, you yeah. know, I would say just like go with your friends. You know, be with a group of people that you like to hang out with, so you can like have fun. You'll have a blast for the long time waiting. <laughs> yeah, yes. you'll have a blast. I'm super excited. Yes. Uh, what are you up for? Um, so I'm fan nominated best ass and Avian nominated uh, mainstream venture of the year for Pam and Tommy that came out on Hulu. Oh wow! Yeah. So you were actually in that. Tell me about your role. Um, so I was a cam girl in it, and that was really cool because I'm not actually a cam girl. So mm -hmm. I kind of got to play this like '90s cam girl role of like having a cameraman in the room, and like it was. It was really cool, um, and it was just super cool to watch because even like the credits, everything like that, I'm like, that's me! So oh I, I love the idea of doing more mainstream ventures and things like that, um, just because it's different. Yeah, what yeah. was it being on set, like being on a mainstream set versus like an adult set? Like what were some key differences? Um, each, each model, and we were just kind of like extras. Mm -hmm. We all had our own trailers, which was super cool. And wow. And hang out there all day. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> um, it, I think mostly just like being around like how professional and how many people there were because that was also during COVID and so mm -hmm. it was always put the face mask back on and do this like as soon as the shot finished. So mm -hmm. it was very on top of everything, very checks all the boxes and I feel like important it's a little more lax if you have less people on a set which yeah. that's what I've experienced because I joined during COVID and right. so it's been smaller sets and so that was kind of a shell shock just seeing like whole production yeah yeah but yeah. it's so cool to see yeah yeah so what's uh anything new and exciting you got coming up um very exciting now that i am out of the best newcomer category i am doing anal and many other things so hopefully oh. lots of that to come this year um i did my first anal with nathan bronson who's wonderful i love him so great. he's so great i had him shoot for my site and it just turned out so wonderful and now i'm like i'm ready to go like let's just bust this hole open. What did you do to prepare for that scene? Um, well, I uh, I enjoy anal in my personal life. Okay, but I, so you were like, like normal you're a veteran. size members. Right. Um, so I was just nervous about taking porn size members. Um, right. And surprisingly, as soon as it was in, it was good. But like I was cleaning out for the first time. I didn't know what I was doing. It was... Because in your personal life, you don't. Yeah. Like yeah. You don't. So yeah. Pay that much attention. A lot of learning that, asking a lot of my friends that are in the industry and have been doing it for a while. I was like, "Can you show me how to clean out?" As gross as it sounds, I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. So, it was a lot of learning just to make sure that visually it turned out perfect. Yeah. I'm well, that's super happy that's with. what's great about the adult community is that you know you can ask people 
what feels like an embarrassing question for most. And like girls are so ready to be there and like totally. give you their advice because everybody has their different methods yeah. of you know preparing for Even anal. Like it's different for everyone. Dishes and things that you can yeah, get. It's or all wh- will eat, won't eat, yeah. like all that stuff. Yeah, that's a big thing for me because I, I'm such a food junkie, mm-hmm. and so I'm like what do I do? And I just ate a good salad and hung out the day before and just kind of laid low and everything worked out good. <laughs> good. Yeah, I got a good cheeseburger afterwards. So um, did you, so when it was done, did you feel like a sense of accomplishment? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I can actually do this. Like, yeah. this is crazy. I mean, there's definitely bigger feats to conquer um, in that sense, but I've heard that once you get it down, it's kind of, you got it down. Yeah. Um, so... I'm just super excited to kind of do like size up, size up, size up and see what I can really do because it was so cool. Like just knowing that like, okay, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So are you planning to, do you have any other anal scenes booked in the foreseeable future? So I am working with my number one porn crush, Small Hands, for an anal scene right after X Biz Awards. And it's my first time working with them. And it's so funny because every time we talk in person, I'm like, we should clap. Okay, bye. Like, I get so nervous. So He's such a great guy, though. He's, so He's going to awesome. make you feel really, like, really good. I'm already, like, the biggest fan. And so I'm like, it's just going to be butterflies. The whole, like, I, little, like, hard eyes, everything like that. Like, I'm... That's been like a tick on my to-do list like since before I started porn of just something awesome to do. Mm-hmm. And so I'm really excited to see like chemistry wise, everything like that, just like a good anal scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any other kind of firsts that you're looking forward to maybe doing next year or sometime in the future? Now that I'm again out of the newcomer category, I'm kind of like let the freak flag fly. Like I can be that naughty redhead because that's what I was before porn, but I was like, let's pace it out, make sure I want to be doing this for mm-hmm. long term. Smart. And like build up a career rather yeah. than just let it all go. Um, so like I've never even taken two guys on camera. Like there's many things to do. Um, and gang bangs, like so many ideas. But like I think from this year on, it's just going to get crazier and crazier. And that's what I'm really excited to see. I'm like, you guys haven't seen anything yet. Right. <laughs> yeah. Any scenes that you wrapped up in 2022 that you feel are like very memorable and maybe a new potential fan should go check out? Um, I uh, I worked with Misa X for the first time this past year, and I love how visually pleasing that their videos are. Mm-hmm. Um, I was blown away seeing like I was in a Christmas um, film for them, mm-hmm. and like when all of when everyone started like retweeting things and stuff like that, I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So I feel like any like new thing that I did has been more theatric, more acting and things like that, a little more serious rather than the stepsis that, of course, love the stepsis role. I can't ever age out of I that. I mean, you have it. to because it's yeah, going to be exactly. the majority of the scenes you're going to get, right? Exactly. So, like, we got to love it because... Right. As long as you figure out how to play it right, yeah. it, it's super fun to play. Um, super tasteful if you can do it right. Right. But, um, yeah, it's just all of those like real, like, I have to study a script, everything like that any of those scenes I'm like it's a challenge but it turns out so good so yeah those are mostly behind paywalls and so yeah. I encourage everybody to go check them out because you won't find them anywhere else <laughs> yeah no absolutely I know exactly what you mean when I would shoot like a big feature while I was shooting it I wanted to like kill myself because it was like the hours yep. were so long it was so much work it was so stressful but then when it's edited and it's done like the sense of accomplishment is just there's nothing like it and then you're just like you're so glad you did it right it's like making that mainstream jump it's like just making a jump within porn of like it's a whole new world yeah you're right it's just so fulfilling yeah Yeah. it's like um, I'm here I'm doing this like doing it right like giving myself a challenge and like learning something new every day yes absolutely you never stop learning yes I've definitely learned that when I first started I was so hard on myself and so now I'm just like just relax. It'll come to you. It's okay. Like you're learning as you go, like one day at a time. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Maddie, thank you so much for coming on. It's thank been a pleasure. So <laughs> um, can you let everybody know where they can find you online? So my Twitter is Maddie Collins X O. That's M A D I Collins X O. And my Instagram is Maddie Collins X X. And then my website is MaddieCollinsXO.com. Fantastic. Thank you and so much. You're welcome. And of course, uh, you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Holly Randall. But most importantly, 
you want to go to joy.city to sign up for the email updates because we are, of course, here to debut the first erotic metaverse. I love how I said that when the screen went black. Just wait. Where's the, the fuck it? There building. we go. And um, if you, as you can see, Browsers is our first um, onboarding brand that we've onboarded. And um, we're so excited to be working with them. And there is so much more to come. So make sure that you sign up at joy.city for all of those updates because this shit is going to blow up. It's so crazy to watch it happen. Congratulations, by the way. The Thank you. So awesome. Thank you. Yeah. It's the work of a, a lot of people. A lot it's of gonna people. It's going to turn out and, amazing. Um, we're pretty determined to make it industry changing. So that thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you, guys. <laughs>